Um, wow, okay. Uh, I live in a neighborhood with a lot of kids and parents. It's too much, you know? They're always polluting the sidewalk, right? And I, and I get to see a lot of parenting styles, and one day I saw this woman, and she's pushing her kid, and she's walking really fast, and she's really angry, and she says to her little guy, she's like, you didn't do your best today. And he's like, but why, mommy? She's like, you just didn't do your best. And I'm like, take it easy, lady, because by the looks of your kid, you didn't do your best either. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's the one who started it, okay? <laughs> right? Not doing her best. And then she passed that on to her kid. It's not his fault. He just inherited a bad situation. You know what I'm talking about? Pump it up, okay. Um, then there's this other little fuck in my neighborhood, Grayson. Okay, this three-year-old. First of all, where does this name Grayson come from? You know? Like, when he was born, did his father look at him and be like, oh, you're so gray, son, right? <laughs> Anyways, one day, one day that Grayson is like scooting around on his scooter, gawking like a crow, like rawr, rawr, right? And his mom is like, Grayson, you shouldn't do that. He doesn't give a fuck. He keeps gawking even louder, like, rawr, right? It's like all my dad had to do was adjust his belt, and I'd be like, Pops, it's cool. I'm not a crow, you know? It's me, Sandra, right? Let's high five. Italian fathers don't high five. You know what I mean? Like, that's what these kids need, immigrant discipline, right? That's what's missing. Come on, honest to God, right? Because if immigrants have fear in them, they put that in their kids, levels it all out, right? Um, I guess you've been noticing I've, a, I've been a breathing. I've been cutting my words off, right? It's like a very popular thing now. The hipsters are doing it and, but I believe it's my people, the Italian people who invented it, okay? I'll give you an example. My dad, uh, he bought himself the ab rocker, okay? That he calls the abo rocco, okay? <laughs> Anyways. He goes to Walmart, he buys the aborocco, he takes it home, he gets on it, and the thing falls apart because he's too chunky, all right? So then he calls up Walmart to complain, and he's like, uh, hello, Mrs. Here is Mr. Attilio Battellini. Can I make a suggest if it's impossible? <laughs> he's like, the pin that you guys use to secure the aborocco are too small. You need to use a three-quarter inch pin, not a half inch pin. And I believe I deserve some kind of recognition or compensation for my suggest. <laughs> it's triple the brief, guys. This guy's a master, right? <laughs> and then one Sunday I was visiting my parents and they're watching a movie on TV. And I'm like, Daddy, what's, what movie are you watching? He's like, I'm not too sure, but I think it's called View Discretion Advice. <laughs> That's the title of this set, View Discretion Advice. He actually, the nickname he has for my sister is Quebec. He calls my sister Quebec because he says, he goes, because Quebec always goes against Canada. That's what he says. My father thinks he's the federal government, you know? And then my mother's like, that's not really nice. And he's like, oh yeah, he goes, you're like Nova Scotia, okay? And we're like, why? Like, why? And he doesn't give any reason. It's just a way for him to name off the provinces. I don't know. Like actually right now, he's suing the bank of Nova Scotia right now. You know, that kind of, you know what kind of balls it takes to sue a bank? Old man balls. <laughs> Old man balls. Balls that have lived a life. Um, so ladies, always, eh? Feminine protection. Anybody, uh, anybody sitting on an always right now? Just taking it ease? Just relaxing, woo, you know? Wind in the hair. Just some bleedy bleeds, no preggy pregs. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I just want to let you know, though, that Always has a new product for nighttime. It's called Always Night, okay? And the ad says, why go to bed with a pad that thinks you're standing up? <laughs> thinks? This pad thinks? This is unbelievable, guys. This is revolutionary, you know? But then I started to think, I'm like, well, if this pad thinks, then you'd think that the thought would have crossed its mind, like, what the fuck am I doing under this bleeding vagina? <laughs> I gotta get a life, I gotta get a life. I gotta go to the park, right? Blue skies, birds are chirping, you know? I don't wanna be under this shower of sorrow over here. Boo hoo, why is it always raining where I am? You know, I just wanna take these broken wings.
wings. You know how the wings always break up, guys? <laughs> Tampons are for sluts. That's what they're about. <laughs> That's how I was raised. Guys, Italians, are you kidding me? Don't put anything up there until you're 90, you know? And it's gotta be hopefully a penis. You know what I'm talking about, buddy? Take it easy. All right. <laughs>